Now that you have figured out the recipe sections you will divide your album into, it's time to create a recipe card. In this third tutorial, I will show you how to add text to a recipe card using the Letter Glow app and add the card to a template in the Project Life app. With Letter Glow open, we're going to start a new project by opening up a recipe card. Remember, I have my recipe cards in a Dropbox folder. And I'm going to come down here to the 4x6 recipe cards. And I want to choose a 4x6 um, horizontal card with no lines. I'm just going to stick with the avocado. All right, remember you don't have to do any cropping, so just hit apply at the bottom. Okay, so now we're going to add text to this card. I want you to select that plus sign at the bottom of your screen, and this time we're going to select text. You're going to come up here with the screen, and you can see there's a blinking cursor. But before we start typing, I want to change my font. And the way you find your font, I'm just going to type the name Glow is you and select is that F there. Okay. And then any fonts that you have installed on Letter Glow okay. will be in I'm going to hit done. List. Now, when the next screen so pops up, I don't want to use um, oops, Archer. Shoot. This is one of my um, Archer Semi Bold. Archer Semi Bold is one of my favorite fonts to use. Um, this is not a free font that comes with Letter Glow, it is one that I have purchased and um, have uploaded it to the app. So once you have chosen your font, tap on the screen to get your blinking cursor back and then type in the name of your recipe. The recipe I'm going to be making um, the card for is for guacamole. So G U A C A A M O L E. Okay. Now before I hit done, I just want you guys to know that when the next screen pops up, you're not going to be able to see the text because um, it's going to be white. It defaults to white and the text is going to be very large. Okay, so watch. I'm going to hit done. You could hardly see it, but now we want to change the color of the text. And you need to bring up your color scroll bar, which is um, that little colored wheel. And I'm just going to use a shade of gray. I like that dark gray. And you can see how large the word is. Let's press down on your title and drag it over to the area where it says Recipe 4. And then click the icon at the bottom of your screen with the double A's. And this is where we're going to resize our font. Um, I don't have a magic number for you as far as what size you should set your text to. This is really going to depend on what font you choose. So I've been using Letterglow for a few years and I find that the size of the fonts in Letterglow isn't set up in points as they are like say in Photoshop or InDesign. So um, you know w when I'm creating something like this I'll just kind of eyeball it and um, you know, get it down to uh, a size that I like. I think I've, I think I like this size. This is at 88, and um, you know, I ju I'll just center it, center it there in the space. Okay. So now we need to duplicate this text box because we still have um, two areas up here in the title that we need to fill. So if you scroll. Um, that your your menu bar there at the bottom if you scroll it all the way to the right you're gonna see this icon with this is your layers icon this this very first icon here in the menu bar so if you click on that your layer palette comes up and if you click on those three little dots on your guacamole layer that center icon here will duplicate your layer okay so let's tap on this black area of the screen to get back to the recipe card. And if you just tap on the word guacamole, you can see how you have a second layer. Okay, let's move that layer over to where it says serves and double tap on there. And you want to type in the number 
as to how many um, persons uh, your recipe will serve and then click done. And you shouldn't have to do any type of um, editing with the, with the font size. We're going to duplicate the layer again. So come back over to your layers palette. Come to guacamole. Or you can you know, duplicate layer six, it doesn't matter. We're going to duplicate that. Select a guacamole layer. And then we're going to move that layer down here to where it says from the kitchen of. Now, my recipe um, is from my friend Ginny, so I'm going to put in her name here and just her last name um, initial. And then I'm going to click done. So you can see how consistent everything is looking so far. And we're getting that consistency just by duplicating the layers and moving them to different areas of the recipe card, and we're not having to, um, you know, now play it's around time with to the add font a text size. box for our recipe ingredients. So get back to your home page by clicking the little small arrow at the bottom of your screen, and then you want to hit the plus sign. And again, we're going to add text. Just like before, we want to choose our font, and instead of using a semi bold font, I'm going to use just Archer Book and I'm going to um, click in the center here. Now just to save time on the video, what I did was I typed my recipe out in my notes app. So just bear with me for a moment while I navigate over there to grab it and I'm going to um, copy and paste it. So I'm gonna click out of here, come over to notes and I'm going to select here and copy okay and I'm going to paste it in there now from here um, you can set the how you want to justify your text so right now it's justified to the center that's right justified and this is left justified I'm going to keep it left justified and just remember when I click over to um, the recipe card I'm really not going to be able to see anything. The font is going to be huge and it's going to be white, but we will change that. So I'm going to click done. Um, I'm going to select that gray and then I will decrease the size of the font tremendously. Now you can also play with the size of the text box too. So I want to make sure my text box is going to fit in this ingredient section. The text is still a little large and I'm going to decrease it a little bit more. And then again, it's just it's just kind of eyeballing it and playing with the size of the text box as well as the size of the, the text, the font itself. Um, I'm going to scooch this up a little bit more and come down to a font size of 52. Now the, the lines, the letting between the lines looks a little tight and you can increase the space between the lines by scrolling over to this icon where you have the A and the B on top of each other. So if you click that, um, you can add space to the line or you can decrease it. So I'm just going to add a couple of clicks there. Okay, I'm happy with that. All right. Okay, so now we're going to add another text box with the directions for our guacamole recipe. So we'll go, we're going to go through the same process. I'm adding text. And again, I'm going to navigate over to my notes app and um, make that selection. copy and paste it. Oh, and I need to change the font. Forgot to change the font. So I'm coming to Archer Book and justifying it to the left. Click Done. Choose my color. 
and then my font size. And I believe it was a 52. I think that's what I did for the, for the ingredient section. Let's see, let's make that a little bit smaller. Okay, and I'm just gonna increase the spacing between the lines just a little bit. Okay, there, I'm happy with that. So now what we need to do is go ahead and export the recipe card to our photos or your camera roll or where, if you're gonna save it in Dropbox, save it in Dropbox, wherever you need to um, save it to. So I'm just saving it to my camera roll. And because you know, it's been saved to the camera roll. It is also saved in my Letter Glow library. And you can see it up here as a set as a completed project. And this is really important because you can use this card that you just created as a template. You can use the fonts and what you have everything set to as a template for future four by six unlined cards. So let's let me show you how this can be done. Let's open that card back up, okay? And say you want to um, make a new recipe card, but you want to use a different color. It's going into a different section. Say like you've got a, a dessert section and it's going to be um, in red. So you have this dessert recipe that you want to do in red, but you don't want to have to go through all of those steps to recreate the text, recreate the text size and so, so forth. So if we come back to our, our little home page here with our home menu bar and click the icon, it's like little um, two triangles in a circle. This is a the photo editing part of Letter Glow, which I, I rarely use, but I do like the one feature here, that first icon with the double arrows. And if you click that double arrow, you're gonna get this dialog box asking you if you want to replace the image or if you wanna cancel it. And when you replace it, what it's going to do, it's, you're going to choose a new image, but you're gonna keep the same text and graphics. So we're gonna replace this and you're gonna get the option that'll come up and ask you to select a background or a photo. So I'm gonna come back over here to the cloud, come to Dropbox, come back to my recipe kit, the four by six recipes, and I'm going to come down here to my four by six card, the tomato color um, with no lines, okay? It's asking you if you want to crop it. No, you don't. So just hit apply and look at how the color of our recipe card changed, but all of the text is here. So now all you have to do is when you want to type in a new recipe, you just double click on each of those um, text boxes and just start to, you know, like say if we're going to do a cupcakes and you hit done and you know, it's, it's all set for you. The, the font is all set for you, the size, and you know, it's just a matter of typing in the new information. So let's create a simple six by eight page with the recipe card that I just created. I'm gonna come out of Letter Glow, and I'm gonna open up my Project Life app, and I'm going to select a six by eight layout, not from the collage, but um, from the regular template section, the layout section, and I'm going to choose design 6x8B. I want to change the corners to square and then select the blue placeholder, select my icon, navigate to my camera roll, and select the recipe card that I just created. Okay. So now I have these two placeholders up here. I'm going to add a photo of my guacamole. I'm going to select that photo icon. And I actually have the guacamole picture saved in a, in a favorites 
I just have to scroll down and, and find it. There it is. Put that guacamole picture right there. And now right here, I want to add a filler card, a three by four filler card. Select the orange placeholder, then the photo. And my filler card is in Dropbox. So we need to navigate to the bottom of our system picker. Select Dropbox, Recipe Kit, 3x4 Filler, and this one really is a family favorite. We love this guacamole. So I'm going to select that family favorite recipe, and voila! How simple was that? We have a lovely 6x8 recipe page. It's simple, it's you know legible, um, and it's got a you know a great photo. Um, but you know you can feel free to use your photos and your recipe cards on any of the templates that have the 4x6 placeholders. I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to drop me a note at kellymsill at gmail.com.